So step one is to run your rope through your tree that you want it to hang on. And you can see I use a 800 pound winch uh, device here, uh, lacked on to some uh, straps. I just custom drilled a hole here and here to hold it to a tree. And I just use a little wrench there to wind it up. The thing you're going to want to do is latch on your best uh, Boy Scout knot that you've got. I've actually got a C link in here because I wanted to shorten it since uh, I'm not as high as I thought I was going to be. I always check my height clearance because we've got cattle on this property. Make sure it's high enough to where your cow can't rattle that thing with its nose. Also understand that you're going to have 100 pounds of corn in that thing so it will come down probably a good foot or two. Uh, so make sure you got clearance. Since this is going to be the device that lifts your feeder, pull your strap out as far as it can before you knot it onto the other side of the rope. Next tie your next Boy Scout knot onto the hook device here. Uh, make sure that it's a good solid knot. Now I've learned if you're doing this individually, before you fill up the corn in there, go ahead and tighten this thing up as much as you can to give you some tension uh, on your feeder. Alright, the next thing you're going to want to do is uh, go ahead and remove your top here. Start dumping in all the corn you can inside the feeder. As you can tell, the cows have already heard the corn pouring out of the bag. It's like a dinner bell to them. Get your lid. Make sure your lid is on all the way. Some people think that's on, but it's not. Make sure you get it sealed all the way down. Before you get it all the way up, make sure you get your battery in and your timer set. I don't know if you could see this or not, but those top, where it says one, two, three, all down mean that it's going to go off for four seconds. If you push it up this way on that timer, uh, that means it's going to go off 30 minutes before dark. If it's down, it goes off right at dark. And here's the test button. Cover your eyes. And here are the cows. There's the feeder. That cow is actually the biggest one on the property, so I think we've got clearance. And one last thing I like to do for insurance is to take the rope that's here, wrap it all the way around the tree, and to put a knot on there. Just in case this mechanism decides to give out, the feeder will still be okay. Feeder number two. Done.